next what you do is uh, you have to add a file called app dot module under app folder so right click your app folder go to add and click new item select the type script file from here you can create a type script file called app dot module so this is the uh, parent module or for the so you can for modules there is a separate document in angular.io you can read that or i will do a separate video on that uh, later so copy this code and paste it here please uh, see here here this it has automatically generated the js file so, but it's empty when i am i save this it will automatically this code will be moved to here so i will save this so now you can see this code is generated so that's what happen when you when we add typings uh, sorry uh, compile and save and these two things these two uh, root dir and uh, out dir so th that's very easy to uh, development that is a big advantage in uh, asp.net so next uh, what you have to do is you have to create a component uh, called app.component.ts so right click and add a new type file called app.component.ts So if you save you can see uh, this javascript file is automatically generated so simply you have to import this and paste it here what it does it will import the component library from angular.app angular slash co and it export the class called app.component then it will give the select as my app and this is the template so for advanced things i will uh, cover later since this is a seed project i will uh, copy and paste the code from uh, here so next you have to create uh, update the app dot module so here they have imported a new module for ng module and they have imported the app component and under declaration they have mentioned the app component and they have uh, a boost boost up the app component so copy this code and go to app dot module and replace this so create a file called main dot ts under app copy this code and paste it here now uh, we have created that since uh, we need to import this ang uh, index html we have to include these things so at the moment in mvc we, there are two ways to do that uh, using a uh, pure static files or uh, using the mvc uh, mvc uh, view so if you using static files we can include a uh, index html file here under ww root and include all the imports and uh, script libraries under there but since we are using uh, hp mvc i will go with the mvc approach uh, i will uh, include all these uh, scripts under uh, mvc view so if you expand the views under shared you can see the layout.cshtml so cshtml is a uh, almost similar to you can see also the, all the tags are uh, html but here you can see this um, uh, highlighted ones which there are in uh, new tags these are these are the uh, real syntax so from server this will be uh, co converted to normal html by server and give the uh, html markup so simply copy this part up to here then under head you can add this here so make sure this app folder is available 
because uh, here sorry app folder is available here and have to specify the system config so if you it is under js nav application you can see uh, this will be moved to here so what you have to do you have to do like this in order to uh, identify okay uh, next what you have to do we only need uh, one uh, control action so under controller select uh, home controller then delete these actions only keep this one so under views under home delete these two views then open this one and you can delete these two to these ones and make it empty and add this at this part right so there are styles i will not be included these things now we can mm, run the application so i forgot one thing uh, under t ts config file uh, you have to uh, exclude few files so outside the compile option type exclude and you have to uh, tell uh, compile not to compile these folders so simply add uh, the node modules so should be no and www root slash node modules so this is uh, you have to do this otherwise it will uh, try to compile uh, typescript files inside this uh, folder so it is not recommended to do that you will get errors so once you do done that with that uh, so you can uh, build the application so here you can see uh, it succeeded so simply uh, run the application in iis express so it's debugging now uh, application is loaded but uh, this loading uh, section is here we see what's the error go to developer uh, options in your it says uh, references system is not Define. Okay, system to just config. Okay, we'll see. Mm, if you open, see so you have deleted this. I think it's can't identify this system. Okay, let's see what's the wrong. If we open our layout page under shard, you can see uh, I have included all system JS. No mm, modules will check is there. Okay, I think I have copied the node modules, so I may have to copy this one here. So it's copy. Now it's copied. So now I will uh, try to run this application.
still it's not loading uh, we'll see what's there now so local I mean is not for okay we expand there uh, mm. we go to app I think it's not been moved I don't know why uh, simply Rebuild this so it's been moved. So I will run. Yeah, now it's working. As uh, I have, I forgot to remove this uh, navigation bar. Uh, if you go to uh, layout page again, uh, within body, there is a footer. I'll remove that one. I'll remove this navigation bar. So, okay. Now I'll refresh. So it's gone. So I'll show you uh, once I updated this, it will automatically change. Uh, if you go to um, update component ts and change uh, my first angle to app to uh, updated. And click save, then you can refresh your browser. So you can see uh, this change has been moved to uh, client. So we have done with our first Angular application. So I will put the uh, GitHub link to this seed project so clone from there. So all the future updates will be uh, included in that project, will be included there. So I highly recommend you to use that uh, my C project to uh, uh, this tutorial series and thank you guys uh, I hope this helped to you uh, please share and like this video and subscribe to my channel